Um, so we've started recording. So we're going to do some boot camp today. So hopefully you can see the majority of my my face and everything. So we're just going to start with a nice simple warm up, just some high knees, moving in right here. So get those knees nice and high. You can also bring it to a march if you would like. If you don't want to do the running part, all up to you. Would be helpful if I had my timer. <laughs> So give me five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so we're just gonna go into some basic jumping jacks again. So we're right here, just keeping everything moving. If you would like, if you don't wanna jump, you could be right here as well. We're just trying to get that blood flowing. We've been sitting probably all morning on our desk, doing work. Give me five, four, three, two and one good we're going to do these as a warm-up and part of the workout so all we're going to do is walk out into a nice low plank and then walk right back up okay that way we can warm up the core warm up the upper body a little bit Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Let it all come down. So we should feel nice and warmed up. If you would like to, you can stretch forward just a little bit here. And then one vertebrae at a time. Roll up nice and gently. Like I said, weights are totally optional. I don't think that the heaviest you'll need is anything crazy, but the lightest you'll need is at least fives, um, if you want to. All right, so let's go straight into our upper body here. So I'm going to move these out of the way. We're gonna walk out, back out into that high plank and add some shoulder taps to it. So we are walking out to that high plank, tap, tap, and we're gonna walk back up. So we're not all the way down, the whole time. So it's that same motion that we just did during the warm up. We're just adding those shoulder taps in there. Keeping that core engaged, belly button the spine, holding a nice straight plank, and then walking back up. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Good, hold that plank on down there. And we're going to go right into some push-ups. Now, whichever push-ups you wanna do are fine. You can do triangle push-ups, uh, tricep push-ups with a narrow arm, or just nice and wide. If you need to, you can always bring it down to the knees and do them that way. Either way, we're here for 30 seconds. So pick whichever one you wanna do, so whether it's the tricep push-ups, diamond push-ups, or just normal wide ones, we have three rounds, so you can switch it up each round if you want. Keep it going, keep it going. I unfortunately put my timer up high. <laughs> All right, Gibby. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Good, we're gonna stay down nice and low and we're just gonna hold a plank, all right? Take this time to catch your breath. I'll restart the timer. So we're holding a nice low plank here. So belly button into the spine, pressing back in those heels, making a nice flat back. So we're not dipping or arching up. We're nice and straight. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. 
Yeah, as I was saying, you guys have been doing the uh, Thanksgiving thing. You've already done your plank for the day. So um, I think this one was still like a 30 second or 35 second plank. Um, I'll have to send it out. It comes out with the newsletter this afternoon. So you'll get another copy of it. All right, so we're going right back into those walkouts with the shoulder taps here. So you're just walking out, tap, tap, and then walking back up. We got 30 seconds. Keep it going. We got three, two, and one. All right. So we're staying down on the floor. You got those push ups for 30 seconds. So again, you can pick whichever one you want to do. You just have to do them for 30 seconds. Ready and go. So you're either diamond push up, tricep push up, or wide arm, basic, regular push ups. And like I said, they can be done on the knees. Just keep those toes up. Core stays engaged, nice flat backs. So no dipping in the hips. We're trying to push those butts upwards. Everything stays nice and nice and low. For five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna just drop down to those elbows and hold that plank. 30 second plank, ready and go. We're halfway there. So just keep holding it again. Those butts are not coming up. They're not sinking down. We're staying nice and straight. Pressing into those heels, shifting into the shoulders just a little bit for three, two, and one. Bring it down. All right, last round. So very gently, stand up. We're gonna walk back out. Shoulders back, walk back up. All right, ready? And go, 30 seconds. Keep it going for five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it down there for those push ups. So, again, you got either tricep push ups or wide arm. Try something different if you haven't already. And go. So, your 30 seconds has started. So, we're either wide arm, narrow, or a diamond shape. Pick which, which one you want to work on. It could be the same one you've been doing the whole time, or if you want to switch it up. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Hold that plank down there at the very bottom. So we're holding a nice low plank. 30 seconds. Last time. Ready and go. Right, more than halfway there. Keep it going, keep it going. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring it on down. Mary Julie, come to standing. All right, oops. So we got some lunges here, okay? Now, we usually do these with side lunges, but we're gonna do them with step back lunges. So we're gonna step back and lunge and then kick forward. Step back, lunge, kick forward. You usually do side lunge and then kick forward. 
but we're going to stick with like the same, I guess, plane of motion here where we're going to step back. So you can pick whichever leg you want to. It's totally up to you. But we're going to be on our second round of exercises now. So as you can tell, we're probably going to be lower body. So really put some force in that kick. It does not have to be crazy high, but if you can get it up there, get it up there. We're doing these for 30 seconds. And kick. So really kicking that foot out. Sitting back in that lunge. So you still want that good form in that lunge. And kicking forward. Give me five. Four, three, two, and one. Just switch those legs. Ready and go. So if you're on the right last time, just switch over to the left. Step back and kick. So same thing. Again, putting as much power in that kick as you can. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. We're going to go into some nice, just body weight squats. Now, this is where I said if you want to add weights, feel free to add them. If you were to add a single weight, just hold it to the chest and here. Use this as a time to catch your breath. All up to you. So we're just squatting and lifting right here. Nice and easy. So again, those weights are optional. You can do weights the second round if you want. If you feel like you need more of a challenge, go for it. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're going to go into some curtsy lunges. So all the curtsy, curtsy lunges are just taking one foot, placing it back behind you, kind of like a curtsy, and we're going to come down and then back up. So we're just coming here and back. Again, weights can be added. You would just hold them off to the sides, kind of like how you would with a lunge, except we're here. So I'll turn from this side too so you guys can see. I'm just crossing that foot back behind me. And then curtsy lunging. Show your breathing and through the nose, out through the mouth. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Just switch those legs. So we're coming back behind us and then bringing it right back up there to that front foot. Again, if you're holding those weights, they're being held on the side. Keep it going, keep it going. I'll take 10 minutes. Awesome. Keep it going. Keep it going. I was doing the wrong foot. There we go. <laughs> it's like that leg feels a little more worked. <laughs> we got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to switch it up. We're going right back to that first exercise. Oops, and stop. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna be stepping back, kicking forward. So we're right back where we started. With that first exercise of this set. Stepping back, kicking forward, and really kick that foot.
Keep it going, keep it going. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna switch the legs up. So just the other leg, make sure you're breathing. Last set here, no it's not, we got one more. I'm just in here lying to you, it's fine. <laughs> So we're stepping back, kicking forward. Really using that force of that foot right here, pushing it through. Get some like a little bit of sneaky cardio in here so you might feel your heart rate get a little high. That's so fine, we got five, four, three, two, and one, good. Coming right back here. To just those body weight squats. When you take this time to have it breathe, and then those out to the mouth, we're just squatting and get back up. Reminder to always take your water breaks when you need them. <laughs> I'm a little bit go, go, go with these classes, so. Take your water breaks, take any sort of break whenever you need it. I try to cram too much in the 45 minutes, I think. <laughs> Make sure you're breathing in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's go to those curtsy lunges. So again, we're just stepping back and then together. So it's like here and then back up, just like that. Again, we're setting back in those heels, squeezing all the way back up. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's switch it up. Other leg, other side. So we're just stepping back and then together. And those weights are optional. Just hold them beside you. Or if you're holding one big one, you can just hold it right here to the chest. Just don't hold it out. So you add weight to your body, not away from your body. Because then it just becomes an upper body workout. <laughs> so. Make sure you are breathing into this. After the magic, we got five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. Back to what we were doing before. <laughs> Last round of the step and kicks. Last round. Ready and go. So we're stepping back, kicking forward right here. So putting all that force into this kick. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. So sides. All right. So remember, we're coming back, kicking forward. So whichever leg you weren't doing before, do that one. Again, we're stepping back into that back side, back side, into that back lunge in the proper form. So no like half lunges like this. It's a full lunge right here. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Bring it on down. Go right back into those body weight squats. So those butts are sitting back. We're pressing the hips forward as we come up. You can hold that weight on the chest if you would like. 
totally optional. So if you're holding the weight, it's just right here. Keep it going, keep it going. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Curtsy lunges. Are we ready? And go. Coming here together. So we are just stepping into that curtsy lunge and back up. Stepping back and back up. Keep it going, keep it going. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. We're just gonna switch sides. And so just curtsy lunge and then back. Curtsy lunge and back. Curtsy lunge and together. Here we go. Keep it up. Keep it up. We got it. We got it. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and stop right there. All right. Are we ready for a fun cardio burst? We always just give a thumbs up when we say yes, Becca. So, <laughs> so with the cardio burst, it is going to be jump squats. Now, there's an option that you can do that's not a jump squat. So you can either come here, rise up on those toes with a lot of power and a lot of force, or you can add the jump. Now, if you have neighbors or something like that at the bottom, you don't have to do that. But we could just be here as well. It's the only one we're doing. It's 30 seconds. Ready and go. So we're either just squatting or we're squatting to that toe raise. It's the only one we're doing. Try to do like a little combo of both if you like. Just like that. So you can do a couple like that, a couple of jumps. It's all up to you. We're more than halfway there. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it on down. Oh, how are you feeling? Feeling pretty good? Feeling a little tired? All right, we're going to go into, oh, I lost them. Here we go. <laughs> we're going to go into some abs. <laughs> we're going to go into some abs before we do our last cardio burst, but our last cardio burst will be on the floor. So let's do some core stuff, all right? We're going to have actually a set of four different ab exercises. So it actually takes us a little bit longer than it usually does. So find your way on down to the floor. All right. We're going to start off with the hard ones here, which are the lemon squeezers. So I think if you were, I think if you're on the FERC um, fitness center email, you probably saw on the workouts that lemon squeezers were on there. If you had a question about what those were, this is what those are. Hands are going to go back behind your back. Feet are going to come up. If you would like to, you can keep one foot on the floor, come back, and then switch as well, or you are here. Now, the even more advanced version of it is the arms are out and come in. So keep it to where you want it. I'm going to be here, lifting out and back in, just like this. 30 seconds, ready, and go. So we're just extending those legs all the way out. And coming back in, if you need something, the cushion, uh, the bum area, totally fine. You can use a pillow even um, to sit on. Show you right here. You literally just put a pillow right there for your bum bone and extend. It does not mess it up. You still get the full effect. We got five, four, three, 
two, one. We're gonna stay seated up. Feet are gonna come out in front of you. Now, if you would like to, you can always add a weight to this as well. You could be here and we're gonna twist. So we're gonna go right into some Russian twist here. 30 seconds. That's all we need. And twist and twist and twist. Again, you can have that pillow underneath your bum just for support, especially if you're on a hardwood floor. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to place that weight off to the side. You can move your pillow if you don't need it anymore. If you find out that you need it later, you can still put it back underneath your bum. So we're going to take our hands. We're going to place them right here. Well, no, let's do dead bugs. I feel like they're actually more beneficial. Now, if you want to use a weight for dead bugs, you can. Um, how you'll use it is just here. Feet and uh, legs will come up to tabletop. We'll extend and then back out just like this or both at the same time. Weight is also completely optional. I do alternating here. Now, your leg does not have to go all the way down to the ground or be hovering. If this is where it goes, that's where it goes. Let it go out to the lowest point that you can bring it without arching your back up because that height will come later. Once we get that core strong enough and get you kind of used to doing it a little bit more, this will be no problem. Practice, practice, practice. That's why we got the uh, plank challenge going on. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Place those legs straight up in the air. Hold that weight up if you want to still hold that weight. If not, just hands go up. We're gonna to reach to tap, 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 tap. Now, if you're holding that weight, just make sure you're holding it out in front of you. Your feet, your, your hands or the weight does not have to touch your feet. We're just moving it up in that position. Think about finding a spot up on the ceiling and moving your head up towards that. So you're not, it's not a tuck, it's more of an up motion. Keep it going. You got five, four, Three, two, and one. Good. We're just going to reset ourselves here. So I'm going to grab my pillow because hardwood floors are not bum friendly. So we're going back to those lemon squeezers. So hands just go back behind. If it tucks underneath the pillow, that's totally fine. Just as long as they're flat on the floor. We're here and extending out. So we're back to our lemon squeezers. 30 seconds. And that's it. We're only doing two rounds. No, we're not. We're only doing three rounds of everything and we're already on round two. So one more round left after this. So just breathe in the nose, after the mouth. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Good, grab those weights if you want them. Totally optional. Feet are going to come down to the floor, but flexed. We're going to lean back to our lowest point, and we're going to twist. Russian twist. Again, you want to try to keep those legs, so those knees, so they shouldn't, you shouldn't be moving with your feet. It's only that upper body. Think about those knees and those feet are glued together and they can't move. We're just moving right in that center core for three, two, and one. Good. Move the pillow. We're going into my favorites, which are dead bugs. So again, the weight part is completely optional. So if you don't want to use the weight, you're just bringing the hands back at the same time you're extending the feet. So exact same motion, just without a weight. And we're here. Now, if you want to do that harder one where you bring both out at the same time, go for it. Just make sure that, that lower back 
is staying on the floor. So you don't want to have an arch. You can slide your arm underneath it. When your legs go out, your back is arching. Now we don't want that. So that's how you end up getting some lower back pain after you an ab workout like this. You'll know that your back was arching. If you feel any sort of pain or um, even a little tenderness. But we'll make sure we stretch out pretty well after this too to make sure that in case you were, we're not going to be hurting. Give me three, two, and one. All right, those legs go straight up in the air. Hands go with it. We're going to tap those toes for 30 seconds and go. So again, you could do this with the weights. And also place the weights down and just reach. So it's just a look and move upwards. So we're not crunching, we're lifting. So it's more of a lift, not a crunch. You're more than halfway there. Keep it up, keep it up for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Ooh, stop reset, there we go. <laughs> Grab your water if you need it. Friendly water reminder. <laughs> Here, so grab those pillows if you need them. We got one more time. Well, we're back here with those lemon squeezers. So we're just right here for 30 seconds. Ready and go. More than halfway there. We're just extending those legs out. Bring them back in. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're gonna reset now for those Russian twists. So again, those feet are gonna come out. Knees and thighs are basically glued together. Find your weight if you want it. Just lean back and twist just like this. So again, we don't want to be moving the lower body at all. We're just twisting right in that upper body. So think about twisting right in those obliques, right in those side abs to pull yourself from one side to the other. We have five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Move that pillow if you no longer need it. We're going to move on to dead bugs, my favorites. If I can reset the time right. So hard to do it at that angle. All right. So grab your weight if you need it or if you want it. It's the last round. So try to challenge yourself. Grab a weight and see what happens. Um, even a two pounder, that's that's extra weight that wasn't there before. So that's that's making it harder for you. So go ahead and bring it on out and together. Make sure to not over tuck on those knees. We're at the end of it all. So those legs and those uh, lower abs are probably gonna get a little tired. So don't let the legs tuck to give those abs a break here. We want to continuously keep them working by holding those legs at that tabletop position. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Put those legs straight up in the air. Hold that weight. If you decide to get a weight for the dead bugs, hold your weight for this too. And we're just gonna reach, reach, reach. Just like that. Challenge yourself a little bit further and further each time. So we're reaching and reaching. If you start to feel this in the uh, back of your neck, think about a spot up on the ceiling and go towards that. Don't try to tuck or pull with that head because that will definitely start to tense up that area back there and you'll feel it more in your neck than you will your core. You should be feeling it right below or right at that rib cage. You got five, four, three, two, and one, good. I want you guys just to flip over onto all fours. We're gonna do a little tiny cardio. 
little tiny cardio. And it's going to be a cardio that's not going to disrupt your neighbors downstairs if you have them. So uh, feel free to do these at any capacity that you can. We're going to be doing uh, mountain climbers. So a little bit of core still. Get that back up there on that, that couch. So with the, de with the dead bug, with the mountain climbers, we can either be here, which is full speed, or you may tap. It's completely up to you. And even the tapping is a lot, feel free to just hold a high plank. So you can always hold the high plank position if you want to, but we're here for 30 seconds, all right? Ready and go. So again, you can tap or you can hold that plank. Just make sure that butt's nice and flat. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. From here, I just want you to press back into child's pose, stretching out those shoulders. Really let those shoulders sink down into the floor. Bring one arm up and under and let the shoulder blade kind of rest on the floor here. Then very gently switch it back to center child's pose from here and then go to the other side. So you always want to go back to a neutral before you twist again. Ooh, my shoulder cracked that time. <laughs> uh, We'll find out later if it was loud enough to be heard on camera. <laughs> All right, bring it back up to center once more. We're gonna bring it right here. We're gonna go to, into some cat cows here. So just go ahead and arch that back up. Tucking the chin into the chest before then releasing, pressing those hips up towards the ceiling. Lift the head if you would like to. And then bring it back in just like this. One more time. Arch that back back up. And release. Go ahead and find your way to a nice seated position. One foot can stay tucked or you can go into a full straddle, completely up to you. We're just gonna reach up and over, stretching out the side. You might even feel a little bit on the inner thigh. And very gently rise up before coming down to the center with that same leg or both legs extended. Dropping those elbows to the floor if you can. Very gently, one vertebrae at a time. Roll up nice and slowly before switching the legs. If you didn't, if you have them both out, just keep them both out. We're just gonna switch sides. And lift up and over. Giving that a nice good stretch here. Let's say I think next week you guys might see my Christmas tree up in here somewhere. I, I'm one of those people too. <laughs> I was that way with Halloween and I'll be that way with Christmas. Go ahead and bring it on up, reach down to the center. I always like to have my tree up before Thanksgiving though. I don't know why. I think it's because it's so stressful anyways. Just want to have it done. Very gently walk on up. Sit yourself in a nice, comfortable position. We're just going to stretch out the chest just here a little bit. So go ahead and wrap those fingers together and place them out in front of you to make like a nice little O. And we're just going to dip down, making a C shape with the body here, tucking the head inwards. And bringing it back up, unlace the fingers and then relace them back behind you, dropping those shoulders down, opening that chest up. 
You can hold those arms even further back in front of you if you like to have a deeper stretch. Lifting the chin also helps a little bit and dropping those shoulders even further. Trying to press those hands down into the ground behind you. Go ahead and release one deep breath in and hold, release, and that was class for the day. I'm gonna walk up there and stop the recording, but um, anyone feel free to unmute and ask me questions.